All right, here we are on our Friday edition of physics class. With, we're going to start our um, morning with a warm up, and we're adding it to day two notes. So we should be able to do this from our work in the last couple days. So if you would sketch it. There's a car at rest on the top of hill A. And I have already given you the velocity of the top of hill B. That's normally what I ask for, but I'm asking this time for the height at B. So work in the same direction that you did yesterday and see if you cannot find the height at B. First thing is to sketch it so that when you, and write down the problem question or what it's directing you to do. Find the height at B. Write that down so you're sure to have a good example to look at later. Oh, you're going to need oh, yeah. the mass of the car. No, you can find need, it. We don't oh, need the mass of the car. All right, if you're still in a daze, first thing you want to do is find total energy somewhere. So find total energy. There's only one spot where we have enough information at the beginning to find total energy. But total energy will have a M in it for mass. I'm going to find the total energy by looking at point A. So hopefully you've already gotten it. It's going to be PE at A plus KE at A. I can go any spot on this, this journey to find TE. So I'm going to pick the first spot where I know the most. PE is MGH. KE is nothing, nada. No, no KE at the beginning because it is at rest. See if your total energy matches mine before you go too much further. <laughs> Using sig figs as we go. This is stable. Sorry guys, I have to. <laughs> it's not staying. Oh yeah. Every I time fix, I move it, like I can fix just, that. I have sometimes it close your up. eyes. <laughs> yeah, a little trip here around the room. A little trip here. All right, this gets loose sometimes, and I know how to tighten it. I think. All right, try that now. All right, try this, see if you can, it'll also, hold now, see if it will. Yeah, perfect. Okay, hold on guys, gotta refocus it. <laughs> yes. There you go. yes. All right, did you get TD, like mine? Anyone confirm that? It is correct. That's what I got. All right, so I went here to find TE. So the question comes from B, so I'm gonna jump over to B and put in what I know here. Here I know TE equals PE at B plus KE at B. TE, I know, 210, M. PE at B is uh, 1, is MGH at B. And KE is 1 half MB squared at B. And we fill in. Do we know everything except the height at B? I'm trusting. Yes. Mass, oh, it's all right. This time we know the velocity and don't forget to square it. All right, so the M's cross out. It's always a fun feeling to cross them out. Ah, <laughs> don't cross out the M's. <laughs> no, no, there's three of them. them. No, no, look, no, there were three of them, we got rid of them all. <laughs> OK. All right, calculating, calculating, calculating. Calculadora. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> We have the square 16.8, take half of it, move it to the other side of the world, and divide by 9.8. That's just follow your mathematical nose. What did it lead you to? 
7.1. You have an answer? Yeah, M M D. 7.1? Okay. Seven. I yeah, I rounded when I got 16.8 squared times 0.5, I rounded it to suit two sig figs right away, so then that's why I got seven. That's good. If, if you got that, um, if you got that M uh, M M, we I think that is right. It's just probably a rounding difference. Okay. Alright. So that's our warm-up to bring us to the point from yes, yesterday. Sir. I have we have some problems to finish from yesterday. But before we do that, I have to add one more thing to um, the story. Let's go and do a diff. This one is not a review because I'm going to switch it up right now. And instead of having the car start at rest, I'm going to have it, and more realistically, it's going to be in motion at part A. So, so we're going to kick it up a notch. I think I can use the same drawing. Do you need any of this material? Nope. All right. So I'm going to draw a similar scenario. You can redraw it. You have uh, need extra paper. This is still day two. It's still total energy problems. Well, if you need extra up there, it be. All right. So we're going to say forget this at rest stuff. We're going to give the car an initial velocity. We'll say eight meters per second. We should find it again. What's Tuesday? <laughs> that would be Actually, they really that would be a forty. They really, really downgraded that. Oh, they downgraded yeah, last saying, night because last night I heard it was the last thing that was coming. Heard Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then again, they said we were going to get six. I mean, it's a wintry mix. Yeah, they like said really it's not an extra. Really, just enough to get off. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I hope. As long as you get four, we're set. Yeah. That's all we need. It's in the cold. It doesn't really depend on how much it is. It depends on like. The conditions that surround it. I drove on the roads. Yeah, they were fine. Teachers call and they're like, don't have something. All right. Would you change the drawing or add a new drawing? This time we have a velocity at the top of A. And I'm going to ask the same old boring question. What is the velocity at B? All right. So. The only real difference in this problem is how or where, not exactly, but how, I will calculate total energy. I still need that number first. Any ideas to start us down this hill? Um, you, can, you can just combine the two. All right. So. And then, because both of them, you don't have M for both of them. Right. So they'll combine because that's the same variable. Okay. So you're saying just stay at A? Stay at, a. stay at A. Okay, that's our plan. We're a man with a plan. Let's go with it. We're going to total energy is potential energy at A plus kinetic energy at A. The problem being that the new situation, there is kinetic energy here where it was zero when it was still. But we can handle that because we know how to calculate the kinetic energy even if it's not zero. So do an MGH at A and a KE at A. That's a one half MB squared at A. We don't know the mass, so the M will stay around for a while. M 9.8, H is 18. One half. M stays around. B squared is 8 squared. We'll say 8.0, so we don't have to do one sig thing. It probably was 8.0. Um, MB and Velocity m one half m b squared. All right, so that's going to be our total energy when I get that. So it's not quite as simple as it was because we have added that scenario there. So what kind of total energy are we getting? Mm, I rounded. I got two ten. Two ten. I mean two twelve. Didn't we get that before? Yeah. Same thing. Oh, I got two twelve. But yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, oh yeah. Oh well. All right. Because two no, ten. I'm putting two six fakes at each step. So I rounded up. I rounded up one seventy six to one eighty. Yeah, I have one eighty here. And I have thirty two. I don't know what that means. 
But if, 180 if and 32. Right? Yeah. 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 180, I'm same. asking you to take six fix as you go. 180 and 32 will add to 212, which we uh, ratchet back to 210M. So, still an M. All right, then we continue as normal. So go ahead over to part B if you have it already and figure out the velocity there. So, TE equals potential at B plus kinetic at B. T, we know, 210M equals MGH at B plus one-half MV squared at B. 210M equals M 9.8. Height at B is what? 11. One-half M. B squared is what we're looking for. So the M's, three M's, and we got rid of them all. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything about you ladies. All right, so last step should be a square root. We almost done. Yeah. It's like a bit of a model. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's all right, you're the got, right, so you can go on to the work from yesterday. I you did. Okay. Can I stop the video? Or do you want to talk? Okay, because it only has like 20 seconds left. Okay, well, we can go to 15. Okay, yeah. All right, so would you show them our the work for today? Sure. All right. Like okay, this? Go. Like my paper? Oh, that. Yeah. They've seen what on yeah. your paper. Yeah. Right. How many? All of them? Yep. Right, okay. Start doing goal for the rest of the day. Here's goals. They're good to set. This is the first one. Yeah. I hope you can read it. All right. Pause. Play. Wow, well, this keeps getting bigger. There's the second one. I hope you can read it. You gotta zoom out a little bit. Yeah, you can't zoom out anymore. There's number two. Here's number three. We don't have V. So how can you solve that? If that's what we're looking for. Uh, oh, if you can not see that right there, it says meters per second and 5.1. There you go. Right, right. And then there's the equation. There's the picture that goes with it. Okay, pause it. Now go. There's another one with a picture. There's here's the picture. That says the first one is says 65 and that says 15. So There's can't the problem. Do that. Uh, All right, so this moves over here first. So you have 210 minus. Now the picture. Oh, that's why. Oh, why. Yeah. So you just pause. So we the same thing. There you so go. Tell me what you did from here. So you have 210 minus 170. Okay. You go pause it. Okay. Last one. You can do it. You do that every time is probably the last one. All right, 14.3. Yeah. We're going to use 14. Can you read that? Uh, I can zoom in on this half. There you go. Okay. There you go. Do that page and you'll be good. Okay, can I stop it now? Okay. Let me just speak to them. Okay, speak. All right. We're going to close down and just work on the problems that you've just been seen and that you've just seen, and then I will show you the answers. So, well, let me, how many seconds now? Um, maybe like a minute. A minute? Alright. Why don't you, you just show them the answer so I don't have to start the video? Okay. Again. I'm gonna pick it up this time and put it down because I feel right. like that's easier. Yeah, it is. Alright. Okay. Alright. Number one. The rest of our day will be working on problems like this. Number two. And we will veer from this topic next time. So number this three. is your last time to nail it down. So show me your answer to the board work and I will give you the paper. Here's number five. Here's number six. All right, see ya.